Trucks, tractors, and tablets are just a few items up for grabs, and they're priced to sell. It is all part of the Orange County Comptroller surplus auction that's underway. Yes, News 6 anchor and insider guide Crystal Moyer visited the auction warehouse to check out some of the items. And Crystal, you don't have to be there to actually get in on the deals, right? Right, and that's because the auction is held online. So you can bid from just about anywhere. What you may not know is that the funds generated from the auction goes right back into the community. Computers, TVs, cleaning equipment, and drones. It might be coming from the property appraiser. It might be coming from our Parks and Rec Department or Public Works or offices in the county. Thousands of items sitting in the Orange County Surplus Warehouse, and they could be yours for the right price. Bid now. It's all part of the Orange County Property Surplus Auction run by Comptroller Phil Diamond, the week-long auction held online. It used to be we'd have these auctions once a year, People had to come down to this warehouse um, that's near the Florida Mall, and that really wasn't convenient. And so what we found is people like bidding on their schedule, their convenience. We're getting people bidding from other cities, other states, um, even other countries. I spotted a few interesting items inside the county's warehouse, like these vintage arcade games. The tabletop unit works, but the taller unit may be damaged beyond repair, according to the auction listing. Well, listen, we've got a, we've got a bank safe you could use. Outside, the lot is filled with vans, trucks, and golf carts. Oh, it's a back to school time. I know a lot of parents might be looking for uh, maybe a car for their teenager to learn how to drive on. These are perfect. You know, they've already been worn in very gently. If you're in the market for a tractor, this may be a good option for you. Most vehicles starting at under a thousand bucks. Some of the vehicles out here like this tractor don't work, but you can make an appointment to come out to the warehouse and check it out for yourself to see if it's a project you're willing to take on for the right price. Other items I found on the auction website include bicycles and even art from the convention center. In all, at the current starting bid, the items total nearly $60,000. But Diamond says he expects the county will make a higher profit. Our highest auction ever was about $920,000. Yeah, we, we generate real dollars for the county, and that's something that's only gone up since we've gone online. You know, we might get a couple hundred thousand dollars, hopefully more, but we'll see. So where does the money made from these auctions go? Diamond says right back into the community. For things like law enforcement, fire protection, uh, emergency services, it might go into parks and recreation to build or improve parks and street maintenance and all the things that really improve our quality of life here. The auction runs through 3 p.m. on August 2nd. You can browse the listings for the items up for sale on clickorlando.com slash insider. I will say, though, pay attention to the details on the listing to make sure you've got the right expectations for the item that you want to put a bid on, as in if it works. Right, right, like the tractor. <laughs> yes. I don't think you're going to plow your, your fields with that one. That's more for decor. Exactly, and they do have it listed on the website, whether it was towed there or if the item actually works. Some of the cars might be missing a battery or something that you might say, okay, I, I could right. fix that. Yes. Some stuff, maybe just for decor. Well, I'm, I am in the hunt for a, for a tractor, so you never know. <laughs> but Some of them do work. But that's the thing. It's cool because, it's, yeah. you know, if you kind of like a good deal, yeah. and you might be in the market for some of those random stuff. There it is, yeah. August 2nd. Yeah, so if it doesn't sell, what happens? So the items that don't sell, they usually donate to someone. Okay. So, you know, there might be like 50 office chairs or a bunch of like tables and things that like there's cafeteria tables in yeah. there. I don't know. Maybe nobody's in the market for that, but it will get donated if it doesn't sell. Okay, well, good. All right, Crystal, thank you.